Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is another video for the new Boston. Now we've already looked at our custom server and database exceptions. Now what we're going to be looking about is coming into our extended classes here but taking uh, some information um, and outputting some useful information. So what we've done is we've created um, errors in root and a database. So I've changed root to Alex and what that's done is if we refresh um, we're saying could not connect a server and if we if we are changing a database and appending a one on we're saying um, could not select database now what I want to do is give a more specific error so I want to say what line it's on and what file it is from so again this may be a useless example but you can understand then the concept of everything so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to delete this and we are just going to echo out a custom error message depending on our server server exception and database exception and we're going to be changing these functions names names in a bit when we've redefined them so up here at the moment we've got nothing within our brackets but if I pull these down we can start to define custom functions inside or methods rather because obviously in object oriented programming um, which is this is part of we are looking at methods we're calling the methods so what we can say is we can say public function we can say uh, show um, specific and again we're going to create a block inside this as well so here is going to be our error message so what this is going to do is it's going to echo out in fact no, it's going to return and what we want to return is first of all the line number that we find the error on and then the file itself that we're actually in which is going to be index.php so we want to return this we use this it's not a defined variable that I've defined anywhere this just means this in general here this and we're going to say get line okay get line so we can make it look a bit more user friendly error on on line something so this line here um, and then we're going to say append on some more our text in this get file so now what our error is going to re read is error on line and we're appending on the line that this has been this um, error has been um, ex uh, thrown on so um, error We'll say thrown oh, to make it make a bit more sense. So error thrown online something in this file. Okay, so um, let's just test that, and then we'll create another one for the database exception as well. So at the moment, we if we refresh, it looks like we're connected absolutely fine. So we need to change this. Remember here, this currently says get message, and that's uh, echoing out this message here. So let's delete these and we'll create, purposely create a uh, server error and we'll see what happens nothing, oh yeah okay so it's because um, we want this function show specific we want to take that from um, our exception that we've thrown so we're going to say sh show specific okay so now let's refresh okay so we're showing that an error has been thrown on line 21 in and then we echo the file name out so our custom error message where the exception has been thrown is successful so it reads error thrown in line something in so let's just double check everything I know the file names fine because we can see that here we're working with uh, index.php um, even though it wasn't previously shown but there we are so we're error thrown on line 21 let's go and have a look to see where the error has been thrown so the uh, throw new server exception is on this line here and you can see that down here in the corner it's line 21 so we're successfully showing the right information so now what we can do is do the same thing for database exception we can create a public function show specific and we can do exactly the same thing so we can return error thrown on line and then we say this get line okay so remember this is a this get line here um, and this get file here 
is a method within exception. However, because we're extending this, we're actually putting it into use in our server exception, which we've rem which we've called ourselves or named ourselves rather. So this dot get line, and then we append on in, and then we append onto that this get file. Okay, so now that should do exactly the same thing. Uh, let's return this to root, so we don't don't throw an error for that. And we, remember, we need to change this to show specific. Okay, so um, let's change our database information, so we throw an error for this. Refresh. And now it says, oh, we've missed out a little space there. Let's pop a space in there to make it neat. So we've got... Um, Error thrown on line 25 in the same file, obviously. So let's go to line 25 and check where the error has been thrown, or the exception has been thrown, rather. It's this line here, which is database exception. So you've probably guessed that the line that is thrown at is 25. So you can see but that by extending our exception um, class, we can create our own methods inside to use data from our exception class. There's much more than this. If you go on the PHP manual, you'll be able to find a lot more methods inside and properties that you can take from uh, from this exception class and put it into your own. And then we've thrown our exceptions ourselves um, using uh, catch twice while we're throwing twice. So that's um, how you're going to extend uh, our exception uh, your exception class and how you're going to catch multiple upset, um, exceptions with your own custom error message.